All new at 10, diploma denied. Today, the State Board of Education denied seven students their high school diploma. Most are Green Country seniors. One attends Tulsa Public Schools, four Broken Arrow schools. Two News reporter Liz Bryant joins us now with more. Liz. Russ, the board denied the student's diploma because they didn't pass four out of seven end of instruction exams. It's the first year seniors have to meet those requirements. John Heffley is on this list. All because that one test. He's one of 15 seniors from Broken Arrow Public Schools. If I don't pass that test, I don't get a diploma and I might have to take another year, my senior year again. For months, John is worried if he can go to Oklahoma State University in the fall. He has a 3.0 GPA, but couldn't pass those extra mandatory exams. Stressful knowing that if you don't pass this test, you're not getting to go to college. Today, it was up to the State Board of Education. This isn't good for kids. And uh, I'm going to tell you, shame on Oklahoma for doing this. Broken Arrow Superintendent Jared Mendenhall says the state is playing with fire, using students' education as a test lab. All of a sudden, we're going to make them take a test to receive a high school diploma. Uh, that's telling us that we don't have good teachers or that we don't have good public schools. Mendenhall says the board keeps changing the rules and it even happened today. He also says a month before graduation, all of a sudden students could do a project to pass. How do we do the project when we don't know what the project looks like? They said, we'll get back to you on that. In two years, Oklahoma won't even have this type of testing. The state is switching to something else. I think this has to, a lot more to do with politics than it has to do with really what's good for kids. So I plan on majoring in. Good news for John. The board accepted his request to pass high school. He can now continue his dream of working as an audio producer. Well, I definitely feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, you know, knowing that I'm free. I got, I've got that opportunity now and that test isn't going to hold me back. And for those who didn't pass today, they'll have to retake the test or do the project and again appeal to the state. Live in Broken Arrow, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.